Oh. Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome to review, and today I am joined here with Genja. And we're doing another Five Nights at Freddy's Four theory, and today we're gonna be discussing well about Phone Dude. Now there aren't really many theories about Phone Dude or even why he leaves the place. That is still because a lot of people think him as a filler character, really. A exactly. Replacement. Exactly. Never gonna live up to the true expectations of Phone Guy. However, we have actually thought of a theory uh, that would be pretty uh, well interesting about phone dude i want to hear your guys pains so basically what we think is that in between each night you should say is that you'll actually be well as phone dude and you'll be in the place the place that he went back to find relics from and each night you'll basically i guess it'll be like kind of oh you know like the dream sequences in five minutes Freeze two and on like the mini games in five minutes Freeze three like in between each night the little uh, went, went, the one with the marionette where you're the robot Freddy and uh... You're talking about the mini games, the little extra bits that give us little hints about the backstory and stuff. Yes, but picture this as almost like that. However, it's like the Five Minutes Race Two cutscenes in between each night, where you're like instead of the Freddy head, you're well, phone dude. You're a person in this new, basically location that we haven't seen before because or we should say that we have seen before but it's all withered and decayed and they find relics there um as phone dude says he's fine he's finding new stuff there that possibly we haven't seen yet and these might be the results of the nightmare animatronics as his nightmares which it's a possibility because it's a mix of both real life sense and nightmare because the game itself would play in a nightmare however yeah, basically we're implying that five minutes phrase four would all take place and phone dude's head and it's all his sort of dreams at night time mm -hmm. however Dude, and nightmares caused by finding out the horrible horrible tale of FNAF like over over time he finds more and more things and he has nightmares about those and let's just say maybe each night is a different location for instance that might be a possibility or anything like that would be definitely a possibility and instead of maybe phone calls it's just him having mental notes of himself and just maybe the past phone calls just things that we haven't heard of before just things that would make us be astonished about the game but just picture this though in between each night you play as phone dude or I should say it's kind of like when you just move your head around looking from side to side however you're just looking and it fades out and then it fades back in and you find like new relics and stuff as phone dude and you have nightmares about those relics and each night you find a new relic you have another character to worry about, kind of like. Actually, it could be more than one character. If it's going to be a lot of characters, it could be you find more than one relic in one night. Exactly. Since you might start, you might start off first nightmare. You're just dreaming about Bonnie, possibly mm -hmm. something along those lines. Maybe the original characters because he knows a bit about Fanaf already. That that is true. This could also. Then he starts finding the more like the toys. He starts finding the marionette, um, the. Oh, what's his name? Bloom Boy and Springtrap. Oh, I suppose he probably has already found Springtrap. Well, the, it could be also before Five Nights at Freddy's uh, 3 as well. It can work both ways. It could be while he's setting up the location and props and all that stuff. Yeah, and in it, which case Springtrap wouldn't be in it then. Mm -hmm. Which would... Uh, well, I mean, I guess it would be because the night where he brings it in, he might have a nightmare about that as well. That would just be implying though, that that's, that takes place just as FNAF FNAF 4 takes place just as FNAF 3 was taking place, which is possible. It's not saying it's impossible. Which would be kind of cool, because it would be like a direct prequel if that was the case. Almost in the same timeline. But, like, well, it would be in the same timeline. It would almost be the same exact time, only a bit earlier. But, like, just seeing it, though, like, as he finds more relics, and it could work either after he leaves or before he leaves. I think that would be really cool, in my opinion. I think the main benefit of something like this happening if FNAF 4 did take this kind of spin of it's something a bit different the nightmares can take form make it scare as the nights go because it's a dream it can make it a bit more like their nightmare forms without it really implying too much in real world plus it let us learn a lot more about the secrets of the restaurant and the diner and places like that the pizzeria let mm -hmm. us learn a bit more about him because he's researching it so we get to learn more because I'm going to be honest, I, I personally don't find these Nightmare animatronics to be kind of real. Because if you look at Nightmare Chica, I mean, the cupcake even has a nightmare form. And that's a bit of a stretch to be real. Let's look real. Look at Nightmare Freddy. Exactly. I mean, they look a bit... Um, they I don't guess, look like something that could be realistic. Exactly. Which is why I think they're more of or less hallucinations or nightmares. However, what this could also work as is maybe you're playing in the phone dude's nightmares as well. And... Again, again, this is also 
um, another spin of these nightmare things in between each night instead of the phone do cutscenes you can play maybe as a different night guard in maybe a horror attraction beforehand or maybe that's like we brought up in a theory before maybe it would be before Fazbear Fright where you play as him and who knows maybe the night maybe the toy animatronics were haunted maybe you'll see the nightmare animatronics that way in toy form as well I mean there's possibilities that I still need to see more teasers and see exactly who's getting their form first of all I mean once the green uh, when once the steam green light page comes out it'll reveal so much about the story already so I mean if we can if we can get that green light page anytime in possibly the summer which I think it'll come out because it's like two months before um, the game comes out I personally think that would work out quite well to be absolutely honest um, you just can't wait to see all the images of all the different things in the trailer. Because it would reveal and everyone so can't wait for that. It would reveal so much if you think about it. Give us a good idea of what to expect, hopefully. And then we can make more positive, accurate theories instead of just throwing a shot in the dark. But I, I really we can't do this point. I really I really feel like though that this might be the case because I, I really feel like that even though we suspect Phone to be a filler character, it's kind of a bit weird. How he just leaves on the second night and just finds these audio clips out of nowhere and just decides to play them. It's yeah, he does say that he found them, and it must have been around that night because he never played them the previous nights. Mm -hmm. So, and not to mention, it goes back into your idea that FNAF Four is take it kind of cuts out with FNAF Three a bit. But the weird thing is, is is I noticed that maybe you can also play there because I've noticed one strange thing about it is that. Phone dude says he's gonna call you back later when he leaves, and he never calls you back. And he says he's gonna find you find you more relics. But the odd thing about this is that he found spring trap, and that only took him one night. And yet, that was he, that. yeah, and he said he would come back that one night, and he never returned again. So he could have possibly even died if that was the case. But we just never heard it. or never died from stress, heart attack, anything like the that. The nightmare animatronics. Like, we might have an ending that might reveal that Phone Dude died. There might be something like that. Obviously, it wouldn't say Phone Dude now found dead, but I mean, like, it would, um, it would have his name and all that stuff. It would reveal. I don't think Kenny will would grieve over him, though. He's not exactly one of the most beloved characters of the FNAF. Well, but... he, he's definitely an entertaining character. There's no doubt about that. But it, it's, it's still, it's still something that's out there and open to be discussed because I really feel like that Phone Dude might have a purpose later on. Just, just my personal opinion. He might return. That's just another thing that might be a possibility. He might return well, as if you. he does die. The only thing I really hope for is that he reveals a bit more about the secret background, the things we didn't know, and we want to clear up all the theories that have been made that have never been answered. The big ones like the Bio Eighty Seven, like the phone guy's death and things like that. Now, there's there's one thing in particular I noticed about Phone Dude, and that he he seems to know. The information about the technology in the building, almost the same amount as Phone Guy would know in Five Minutes Freddy's One. So that would assume that maybe he was a night guard himself in a location that uses the same technology as well. So maybe past location of a horror attraction, a past location of a place that used the same technology. Possibly maybe he was someplace beforehand. We never know. There's there's different possibilities. Well, we never heard the voice of a lot of the different characters. So well, all the characters. The only apart voice. From the, phone guy. The only voices that we heard of were phone dude and phone guy. Of yeah, but wise. implying before phone dude, before we knew about him, we never really heard anyone's voice but phone guy. So and the closest you know, we ever got to a night guard's that. voice was Jeremy and the guy in Five and Series Three with their breathing. But besides that, we really had nothing else to work with. So. Um, it, it's it's definitely a shot in the dark, but I want your guys' opinions. Do you guys really feel like that phone dude might have a purpose? Do you guys think that he we might even play as him in some ways? Because we also have a theory too that you might play in multiple locations in in the fourth game. Because de Scott definitely does have a lot of a time lot to work on this. He does have a lot of time to work on this game. So, um, but the fourth game, a lot of expectations. Exactly. We have a lot of expectations for the fourth game, so it's very likely that he's going to live up to these expectations. He might add in multiple uh, locations, kind of like how Five Minutes at uh, F-Boys had, like, acts in it. Act 1, Act 2, except for he might have maybe a few acts in this game, but almost... Think about it.